Today I am reviewing The Walking Dead, Our World. Because zombies are still relevant, zombie games are still being made, and for some reason, The Walking Dead is still popular. I'll admit it, I haven't watched it since season 3. The whole thing became redundant, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy myself some zombie head blasting. The Walking Dead, Our World, is available on Android and Apple devices. First up, Gameplay. Remember that awesome looking trailer for the game? The one that had me hyped for an augmented reality experience? Well set your apocalyptic expectations aside, because you won't be shooting zombies in front of your local 7-Eleven. Instead, the zombie shooting is contained to a single area. I get it, shooting zombies on your coffee table wouldn't really make sense. As you can see, the game is basically Pokemon Go, Zombie Edition. Use real world maps and location services, shuffle around your town, or just stay inside and reload the game every so often. Then tap on the zombies, bring various weapons and characters from the show, and tap to shoot the zombies. It's that simple. Then collect cards to upgrade weapons, heroes, and items. Then build a base, save survivors, and and drop them off for loot. There are different types of zombie scenarios. Infestation is a series of stages, clear them for massive rewards. The game also has you team up with surrounding players, use a flare gun to call for support, and complete weekly challenges. There are also specialized missions to destroy raider camps. Again, the shooting is simple, yet the game really shines in these moments. Throw some grenades for added damage, take Michonne for slice and dice fun, and upgrade your machine gun for spray and pray capability. It's these moments of zombie headshots that give the game somewhat arcadey fun elements. However, this game is nowhere near original, just like the show it's based on. Yet I did enjoy this Go clone more than Jurassic World Alive, so it has that going for it. Altogether, it's Pokemon Go for the Walking Dead fanatic. Next up, graphics. Visuals that are far from undead, character models with death in their eyes. For the most part, the graphics look great. The maps look like a map, yet the representation of your characters and the surrounding chaos is pleasing to watch. This gives the game a sense of placement. The undead battles are also great. The zombie models are worthy for mobile, and the added physics to dropping bodies are a plus. The support characters are also great counterparts to the real actors. Except why do they always give me this odd look before I shoot? What's up with that? This deadpan look is more scary than the actual undead scum. One aspect that feels out of place is the backgrounds. They have a low res flat look to them that really feels out of place with the rest of the game. Besides this, the graphics are surprisingly good for a game about a dreary world where humans are on the edge of extinction. Finally, free playability. Zombies never seem to run out of energy. At least humans have batteries. The game relies on a system that we all wish was dead, an energy meter. Although this isn't the main focus. The real monetization lies in the coin and gold system. Coins are used to upgrade characters, weapons, and more. Gold is used to upgrade buildings and purchase loot bags. Also, you gotta have character packs because you really want Rick Grimes. Playing for free is good enough, but soon upgrading takes a toll on your income, and having the best of the best will come at a cost. Then again, The Walking Dead is about scarce resources, so don't spend your real money and treat the game like you're really in a zombie apocalypse. So Pokemon Go clones are more rampant than a Rattatat infestation. We even have a Harry Potter one coming soon. So how does this one stand out against the crowd? Is it a download it, a give it a try, or a waste of space? The Walking Dead, our world, shoots, upgrades, and survives its way in as a, I guess, give it a try? The Walking Dead, literally walk around and shoot the dead. The gameplay is cloned with a touch of fresh, the graphics are a wide-eyed walker, and the free playability is a scarce resource. At this point, I'm not really a fan of this genre. It's not the walking part, more so the redundancy of it all. Yet this game tries a few things new while maintaining the go-go feel. It's the arcadey shooting and crippling headshots that made me even consider taking on more zombie foes. Plus the added graphical fidelity made it fun to watch. Heck, I'd rather aim my video game weapon at a rotting walker than aim my eyeballs at another episode of The Walking Dead. For the most part, it's a serviceable game. Some might like the bloody approach to this genre, so if you're a Walking Dead fan, a walking fan, or just a fan of undead shooting, then go ahead and give it a try. Or if this is your first foray into the GPS Go genre and don't mind the Walking Dead skin, then I guess, why not, give it a play. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, the first zombie game was released in 1984 and was called Zombie Zombie. 
Isn't that crazy? 